people are talking about in the state of Oregon and around the nation as you travel across the country is a new lottery game that uh, Oregon has instituted to try to raise funds for intercollegiate athletics. Let's find out a little bit more about the new game in town. It is called Sports Action, and it may be a financial savior for the state's intercollegiate athletic programs. Sports Action is a lottery game based on point spreads of weekly National Football League contests. Players must pick the winners of at least four games, maximum of 14, tickets costing between $1 and $20. First week payoffs range from $7.20 to one person who correctly picked every game and took home over $12,000. Close to a quarter of a million dollars was wagered in week one. The State Lottery Commission has a goal of $30 million by the end of January. The whole idea is to help raise money for intercollegiate athletics. If $30 million is raised, $8 million will be earmarked for athletics. The State Board of Higher Education will have the final say on disbursement of the funds. Oregon Athletic Director Bill Byrne believes up to $3 million will come Oregon's way. And that will solve a lot of financial headaches. Well, it's going to do some really terrific things for us. It will give us some fiscal uh, stability that we've never had before. We've always had to live from hand to mouth. At least we'll be able to count on some income coming in every year. And uh, it's something that, that I think will give our youngsters in Oregon a chance to compete now. Right now, Oregon's athletic budget is about $10 million. The conference average is $13 million. According to law, 50% of the lottery money must go to women's sports. Right now, Oregon spends $1.8 million on women's athletics. But we're going to spend more on women's athletics because we need to fully fund sports like softball, like tennis, like golf, who have just uh, very few scholarships right now. Women's athletic programs at Oregon have been remarkably successful without full monetary support. The women's track program and cross-country teams have won national titles this decade. The softball team has made great strides in recent years, reaching the College World Series last spring. And the basketball team won the NIT championship last season. Additional money from the lottery does not guarantee more victories on the playing field. But according to women's basketball coach Ellen Heine, it may make the difference, especially in recruiting. We've been able to work well with what we've had. We have had to cut budgets where we could, or I should say work within the budgets. Um, recruiting alone is getting to be a real big item, especially in light of what it costs now to travel. And I think a recruiting budget alone, if we can increase that, it's going to be much easier to compete with the others because you do have to be present in order to get the players. An additional $3 million per year does not mean carte blanche. According to Byrne, the department's reserve funds have already been depleted. And only in the last few years have there been major facility improvements. Hayward Field was expanded to an eight-lane, 400-meter oval, and a new athletic complex is under construction adjacent to Autzen Stadium. Major improvements mean big bucks. And the lottery, although not a save-all, is certainly a help. But the bottom line is that more athletes will have a better chance to compete on an equal basis with their Pac-10 brothers and sisters. I think that, that this is going to give us a chance to compete in our 14 sports across the board in the Pac-10. And I think it's going to give Oregon State a chance to do so as well. We'll be back with more halftime activities in just a moment. 